The energy from your right hemisphere is meant to cross over to the left side of your body and from the left hemisphere over to your right side of the body. And when that happens, it creates a crossover energy literally all over your body. It's like uh, many, many crosses is what I see, okay? And when you don't see those kinds of crosses, you know the person isn't functionally, functioning optimally. Okay, and um, if you're not, if your energies aren't crossing over, maybe you can't think as clearly, or you're just feeling sort of lethargic, and you're not hearing, you're not taking in what a person is saying. So, um, let me see. Did anybody bring a? You is that your purse? Okay, I'm going to show you something. Would you come up with your purse? I know I'm using you again, but I want to show. Uh, I want to show you some of the things that can throw your body off so that your energies are not crossing over anymore. Okay, so I'm going to put your purse down, and um, all right, she's nice and strong now. Now I just want you to put your shoulder bag on and just walk a few steps. Okay, that's enough. Now <laughs> take your shoulder bag off, and I'll show you what happens to a person's energy. A shoulder bag cuts through the main meridian lines in the body, and so, and also you can't cross your arms in a cross crawl fashion. So cross crawl gets obliterated in a lot of people's lives. And have you ever gone to the gym or um, ex done an exercise program? And at the end of the exercise program, when you should have felt fabulous and you didn't, has that ever happened for anybody? Yes. Well, <laughs> what that's about is if that's ever happened to you, it's because some of those exercises throw your body out of a cross crawl and, and more into energy just going straight up and down your body. So now what I want you to do, if, you're, if you think that that has happened to you, nobody needs to test you. I mean, you begin to feel not centered, not balanced. You don't feel great after exercising. Something like that's going on. Or you're not able to uh, grasp some information in a classroom or any of those things. So do a cross crawl. You guys ought to do it sitting down in your, oops, <laughs> your chair. <laughs> yeah, just hit the opposite knee. And I like how she's doing it with her elbows is a really good way. Because it, it, it creates more of a crossover and is really good. All right. Let's see if you're fixed. <laughs> All right, now, let me do that again. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you're going to use a shoulder bag, when you get to your destination, do a cross crawl so that you don't wear yourself down as the day goes on. Okay? Um, there's a, just to give an example of, um, of, of an exercise program, would, uh, would you, why don't you come up here? What's your name? Armis. Armis. Oh, great name. <laughs> it's not short for Armistat, is it? Yeah, I made it up when I was a kid. Oh, it's great. Okay. Hold your arm real strong and don't let me push down. All right. He's really strong. All right. Now I want you to do a few jumping jacks. Don't go off the end. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and now put your arm up. Jumping jacks wipe you out. I mean, suddenly your energies are no longer crossing over. They're just going straight up and down the body. Did you hold with all your might? Yeah. Was, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he lost so much energy. I was even yeah. just checking. <laughs> but, but, it, but that's exactly what happens. What I would say is don't bet on the team who's doing the jumping jacks <laughs> because, because suddenly they do not... <laughs> They are not as clear. They cannot possibly be as coordinated as the team who doesn't do the jumping jacks. <laughs> so now, if you do any exercise that makes you feel less um, strong, do a cross crawl afterwards. So I want to see you do a cross crawl. It'll bring you back. You know, so you, nobody has to energy test you. You can have, um, if you're feeling not up to par, do a cross crawl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, come up here. Uh, his suggestion, 
just to, you can um, manipulate exercises. If they aren't working for you, you can do them in another way. Do you know what a reverse jumping jack no, is? Um, <laughs> let me see. I mean, yeah, okay, you know you normally go like this and like this when you do it. Okay, do it the opposite way. Put your legs out here with your hands down and then go like, is that right? Yeah, like this. Uh-huh, and no. yeah. And, it feels a little klutzy, but, yeah, but watch. It makes your energies cross over. So if you can, yeah. Teach, <laughs> so, the, teach the teams to do that. Yeah, backwards. that's right. That's right. It's, it's interesting. There was one place where I, where I was showing that. I don't remember if it was England or Australia, but wherever it was, that's exactly what they already did. So it's like they had an instinct or something about it.